The cube and the sphere are the sole working tools of creation. Electricity is the only force the Creator uses to perpetually create creation throughout eternity. The Creator's thinking is electric and is controlled by the Creator's omnipresent stillness. The Creator controls creation from within and without. The universal mind is pulsing electric spiraling motions that give form to what mankind calls matter in space. The very foundations of the electric universe are perpetual pulsing electric motions. Our ever-changing electric universe of sex-divided spiraling electric light motions is under the complete control of the Creator's immutable and eternal sexless magnetic light universe of absolute cold, stillness, and zero curvature geometries. Magnetic light cubes compress and freeze all electric motions into sphere and ring systems which we observe populating the infinity of space. This image by Walter Russell is rich in detail, showing how spiraling electric vortices in the three dimensions of cubic wave fields produce electric rings and spheres whose wave fronts pass through each other unobstructed and create electric light lenses which expand and compress these spiraling electric waveforms to produce all possible geometries found throughout the infinite universe. The electrical pressure gradient shown here describes how curvature within cubic wave fields is a product of imbalance of spherical centers of high electric potential and the space surrounding them, which decreases in electric potential by the square of the distance, thereby creating curved, so-called lines of force surrounding these bodies. The positive sign represents the electric north of all wave fields, and the negative sign represents the six cathode faces of the cube, which are the south direction of motions from the center. These curved electrical pressure gradients have been falsely defined by academia as magnetic fields and are in reality gravity controlled rings of spiraling electricity. Magnetism is cathode planes of stillness, not a force. North and south gravity poles of magnetic stillness control the sex divided electric spinning rings which form spheres. These electric rings of the curved pressure gradients create biconvex and biconcave lenses as they pass through each other, spiraling inwards and outwards within the cubic wave fields. The pressure gradients within cubes as demonstrated in this image with male red hemispheres and female blue hemispheres highlighted. The seven locking positions of the octave wave of elements is created by these pressure zones and is shown here accompanied by the names of the elements found in the carbon octave, thereby revealing the locking angles for each of the elements of this octave. The intersection of spiraling electric waveforms creates biconvex lenses which generate heat from coal by bending the waveforms into smaller and smaller rings with higher electric potential due to their immense compression and rapid motion. This image demonstrates how the still magnetic light is divided from the cathode planes of the pure white sexless light of the inert gases into male red spectrum and female blue spectrum vortices, which seek each other as mates in anode centers to balance their sex-divided condition of imbalance. This painting by Russell shows the process of male and female divided electric lights as they radiate through each other in their cathode dominant open hole condition via concave expansion lenses. 
This painting by Russell shows the process of male and female divided electric lights as they inwind through each other in their anode dominant, closed hole condition of the inert gases, creating a spherical center via biconvex compression lenses as the cathode waves reach out from the horizontal inert gas cathode planes to meet each other in opposing corners of mutually shared cubic wave fields. The three interior cathode plates of the cube have these inert gas rings as well. The inert gas rings are compressed into spheres and ring systems which we see in space and atomic systems. There are seven locking positions for these spinning rings in each of the nine octaves of matter of the universe. The wave amplitude is a shared locking position marked plus four, zero, plus four, for male and female vortices creating an anode cathode sphere with male in one hemisphere and female in the other hemisphere, divided by an equatorial inert gas cathode plane of stillness. Biconvex electric light lenses compress electricity inward, generating heat, higher potential, and rapid spiraling vortex motions. These are formed from cathode waves, which compress spiraling electric wave forms from cathode planes of cold magnetic stillness to anode centers of intense cyclonic fury and heat. Here we see the collision of spiraling electric red male and female blue lights creating a yellow spherical body at the wave crest amplitude within the cube. The colored rings represent the open hole ring-like elements which are either male red dominant or female blue dominant in their composition depending upon their locking position in each octave. The carbon octave of elements is shown here. Biconcave electric light lenses expand spiraling electric light waves thereby lowering their potential and returning them to the immense cold of space and the omnipresent cathode planes of still magnetic light. Anode waves begin at centers of extreme motion and compression and end at planes of magnetic stillness where their motions are recorded in the inert gases, voided in stillness and reflected outward into neighboring wave fields while being radared back inward again to anode centers to be compressed so they may expand again in rhythmic balanced interchange perpetually. Seen in three dimensions, the biconvex electric light lenses become very obvious in this image. Here we also see the varying layers of curved electric potential in the ring systems of the inert gases, which give form to the spheres. These spheres pulse through each other, creating light lenses. The cathode dominant condition of the sphere is seen on the left, and the anode dominant condition is seen on the right as they interchange, each becoming the other. Spherical bodies are formed by the intersections of the inert gas rings on the three interior cathode planes of each cubic wave field.